Is social media actually making today's music worse? Let's muse about that. Hey everybody, it's Matthew. So we hear the conversation all the time today about how today's music is boring, it's not any good, it's not interesting, it was better back in this time or in this decade or whatever other cliche people throw out to describe the relationship between music now and music say 40 years ago. But today's artists may not be entirely to blame for that and all those negative things may not actually be true. It may be rather that the industry has just become a victim to the current social media culture and climate and is trying to appeal to that in a way more than actually trying to create music that's interesting and has more artistry. Break it in for one second and tell you guys if you enjoy the content don't forget to scroll down below and click the subscribe button to help the channel grow. That really helps me out a lot too so I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. But let's get into more specifics about that. So people think back in the day that it was a lot of musicians just writing music to be artists and doing all of that stuff which you know is the case and that hasn't changed today there are still plenty of people doing that it just matters who's pulling those strings of course back in like the 60s 70s 80s 90s you know you had a and people you had managers you had things like that you had the execs at the record companies but they kind of let you know the production side of it with the a and people and all that they kind of let them just do their thing and look for talent, look for artists and recruit them and get them produced, get records out. And it was kind of just about, I mean, it was about making the music and making money, but the artist was kind of given the opportunity and the control to make that music the way that they wanted to, which kind of allows artistry to be a little more better, a little more interesting. It lets musicians do things at a little bit of a higher level without being concerned of how that music is gonna sell, essentially. Of course, later there was a bit of a shift in this kind of ethos. They started bringing in people from outside in the music industry and things like that, that were more interested in commoditizing music and running it like a business, where it was no longer about the artist, it was more about how can we craft an artist and a person that creates music and has music that is gonna get sold and actually go to the top of the charts and all those things which sort of changes how these bigger artists come up and it changes the style of their music and where that the place where that music is coming from so it kind of loses some of those great things that music may have used to have back in the day but of course that's kind of the difference like i said before those things haven't changed that hasn't gone away it's just the stuff that's not like it was back in the day is what has risen to the top currently. But in modern day, you can see that everywhere. Songs have hooks all over the place and they're usually under three minutes or even shorter. It's all hooks. Every section is a dang hook all of the time. You know, you have multiple people, you have teams of writers making these songs for these artists that at the end of the day aren't doing all of that writing on their own. These guys have these things written for them already. They come in, sing their thing, they're done. That's it, they're gone. And it's a much cheaper and a much more efficient way to make music. And it's also what appeals to the modern day consumerism that has been created by social media and how it has to be consumed. Now, how do these two things connect? Of course, make, writing hooky music has always been the thing. Of course, hooks got way more ubiquitous in the later 2000s, you know, and as things started getting bigger and artists needed more people to listen to songs and streaming got more popular and all of those different formats got a lot more popular. But social media more recently has created a weird, unique problem where it has starting to rely on this short form type of content. And you see that with things that kind of started with Vine, but then, you know, things like TikTok popped up Instagram reels are a thing snapchat has been a thing and now YouTube shorts of course is also a pure short form content type of thing and I think what happened to people is they started consuming social media so much that everything they consume has to somehow fit into that type of programming in their brain because that's what social media essentially does it reprograms your brain 
to want to look at this content, to want to scroll endlessly, to look at all this short form stuff. And so not just the music industry, other industries have to figure out how to appeal to that. And that's what has happened to the music industry is that rather than trying to make good artistry, good music, it wants to appeal to that social media based short form consumerism. And then that's what you see what happens. You get a bunch of hooks so you can reel people in so they don't scroll past the music or the video or any of that stuff so they don't get bored with it. And it's got to be short because if it's too long, they're going to go away from it and not care about it because their brains have been programmed to want more and more content as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible. And if you don't catch them in like five seconds, you're dead. And that is unfortunately, I think, what has happened to the music industry now with popular music is that it's trying to appeal to this social media based consumable, quick, short kind of content, which is why you see these songs, these popular short songs like this get played over and over and over and they're in everyone's playlists and all those things because they get in and they get out and they take their attention just long enough that these songs continue to get all the plays and generate as much revenue for the record companies as they possibly can. And that's what it is. And streaming's partially to blame for that because you need such a high volume to get the money out of streaming and that type of thing. So the quicker you can get the person's attention and the less time you can take doing that before they get onto the next track, the better off financially you're gonna be, unfortunately, at the cost of what could be great music. And of course, some bands have kind of tried to get around this by like releasing a lot of music at a time, you know, maybe they make an EP every year or a couple of EPs every year and release them so that you can kind of keep the attention and the interest going, even if they're still trying to make, you know, good music that isn't trying to appeal to this weird social media driven dynamic. But the unfortunate reality is people just don't really want to sit and listen to a four minute you know song that might have great music because they're not listening for that they're not trained for that they want to get their entertainment they want to consume their content and then they want to be done with that on to the next thing so it's really difficult to take good smart well-written music and then expect today's consumer to want to consume that a lot and really be interested in listening to that. That's why all the popular artists right now or the pop artists that have all the endless hooks and things like that is because they're plugged in and they can get that attention which drives it away from other forms of music. And then sadly you end up in this weird situation today where it's really hard for guitarists to get by in the music industry because there aren't enough people that want to listen to that music. Anyway guys, that's just a few thoughts I had about the topic. You can blame today's artists and things like that in endlessly for why today's music has declined, but that's not why. I think social media plays a much bigger role in what's happened here. And unfortunately, those pop artists are just as much victims of it too because they're just used as a tool by the record companies to make money and that's all they really are but anyway like and subscribe guys if you enjoyed this video of course leave a comment down below if you want as always don't forget to click the bell so you get a notification when a new video is going to be out and i will see you guys next time in another video have a good one